Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kenny Choi. Yunji Denise has the night off. A Schofield barracks soldier who lost all four limbs while fighting in Iraq now has arms and hands again. Brendan Morocco's fellow soldiers consider him a hero with the will to survive and to succeed. Here's KITV4's Paul Drews. Improvised explosive devices, or IEDs, were a deadly hazard for U.S. soldiers in Iraq. Nearly four years ago, on an Easter Sunday, one of those IEDs forever changed Brendan Morocco's life as he and his fellow soldiers drove back to base. As he was hit with the IED, he lost all four of his limbs immediately. Uh, traumatic amputation of the limbs. Ironically, the intense explosion may have helped Brendan live. And the high heat and, and pressure that does, it kind of cauterized some of the wounds as they occurred prevented him from losing all his blood. Morocco became the first soldier in Iraq to survive losing all of his limbs. I was still alive, so that's really all that, that mattered to me. After recovering from the traumatic injuries, Brandon slowly learned how to use his prosthetics. Could expect maybe they'd be upset, angry, bitter. That, that's not the case with Brandon. He is one of those people where you meet him, you want to keep talking to him because he's so inspirational. He has such courage. I went to visit him in the rehab center where he was working on doing rehab, and they would literally take him to some of the other soldiers that had recently been wounded and lost limbs to have him kind of help buck them up and talk to them and, and cheer them up. Then, after years of rehab, the 26-year-old went through one of the most complicated and extensive surgeries performed in the U.S., Doctors connected bones, muscles, nerves, and skin in a double arm transplant. Following the successful surgery, Brandon doesn't yet have full range of motion in his arms, but he was able to scratch his face and touch his hair with real hands. It's like uh, I went back four years and, and uh, I'm, I'm me again. Lieutenant Colonel Bernard says doctors were even talking about a possible leg transplant in the future. He also added that in that attack that severely wounded Brendan, another soldier from their platoon was also wounded and he died from his injuries. The only soldier lost during their deployment. Kenny?